The well, taxi industry is known as the lifeblood of the township economy, but years of unresolved tensions between rival taxi associations have led to many murders. That's right. Last year, 123 taxi violence murders were recorded in the Western Cape alone. And in the last incident this week, two men were gunned down in Cryfontein. Taxi bosses say the provincial government must also take responsibility. Ronald Masinda has more details for us. Tensions are running high between taxi operators in Cryfontein in the Western Cape. This after two men were gunned down this week. The Western Cape government denounced the killings and called for calm between the Belta and Bluata taxi associations. I condemn all acts of criminality, especially murder. The registrar's office has called the two local associations, Belta and Bluata, to a meeting to assess the situation and any possible underlying tensions. I must emphasize that the Western Cape government will not compromise on the rule of law and my department is working closely with the South African police services as they continue with the investigations into murders and other taxi-related crimes in Cape Town and other parts of the province. The ongoing violence is also a concern for commuters who tend to get caught in the crossfire. Taxi bosses say government must also play their part. As we speak, As if permit something as comply, officials are comply. Last year, Transport Minister Fiki Lembalula and MEC Mitchell held talks with the Kata and Kodeta Taxi Associations to quell weeks of violence. There are fears that unless the provincial government and taxi industry don't reach long-term resolutions, the industry could witness even more bloodshed. Ronald Masinda, Cape Town.